Are you frustrated with lenses that are consistently out of focus? We've got a great tip from Data Color you're gonna love. If you want to gain greater confidence when it comes to lighting on location, you need to come to our seminar, April 30th. Check it out. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slime Lens, we're going to show you how to calibrate your lenses to your camera so that your autofocus is always spot on. You get it exactly where you want it to be. Use this little kit from Data Color called a Spider Lens Cal. That's what we've got set up right here, a little Spider Lens Cal. And here's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Put your lens on your camera, set it to aperture priority, open it all the way up so the lens is wide open, and now you put your camera lens 25 times the lens focal length to the target. And now you're going to focus on the small little focus target in the middle and take an autofocus picture. So use a trigger, something so you're not touching the camera and you can get your exposure standing from the side. So this next part of the process is different on each camera, but on the Mark III, I'm going to go to the autofocus menu. I'm going to choose my autofocus micro adjustment. It's going to take me to this menu here and I'm going to scroll down to adjust by lens. I'm now going to hit info and it brings me up a chart, a, a line that goes from negative 20 to positive 20. I'm going to simply roll over and I'm going to take about three or four images at negative 15. I'll take three or four because I want to make sure that the autofocus is hitting the same point every single time. I'm now going to just jump right back into that menu. I'm going to go again and I'm going to adjust this now from not negative 15, but negative 10. So in increments of five, I'm going to go 15, 10, 5, 0, then plus 5, plus 10, plus 15. Now I'm going to look at all those images. What I'm looking for is which one of these images is the zero the most in focus. I've got zero to six on the bottom, zero to six on the top. Where down that line is the focus falling? Is it falling right on zero at uh, negative 10? If it is, I know that negative 10 is the point that's giving me the most in focus at zero. I'm now going to try to adjust the focus even closer by going, if I say it's negative 10, I'll start five above that at negative 15 and go one at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and now I'll keep going nine, eight, seven, six, five. I'll do all those 10 images and I'll find which one of those is the zero the most uh, in focus at. And if I say, well, it's at negative 12, that's my spot. The zero is the most in focus at negative 12. Then I'm going to leave it set at that. And now every time I put this lens on, it's going to know that that's where they, it has to set the uh, focus to make sure that the autofocus is spot on. Remember, this is not about good or bad lenses. Even new lenses need to be calibrated. So check each one of your lenses out. What this does is it gives you confidence that your autofocus is right on, and that gives you confidence as you shoot. So remember, come to the slanted lens. Occasionally, we're going to have some scientific uh, kind of tips here on our quick tips from Bob P. Dunkin' Donuts Bob P, the man with a donut. What does that even mean? Keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Spider Holster is giving away $1,000 worth of equipment at theslimelens.com. Single camera systems, lens pouches, everything. And they've also just kicked off a new Kickstarter campaign that's got some great products. You've got to check them out. So get over to theslimelens.com, sign up for the giveaway, and then check out their new Kickstarter. Don't forget to subscribe to the Slant Lens. We're hanging out here. We're waiting for you to subscribe. Quick, subscribe. I can't do this all day. You've got to subscribe. Quick.